6.17 now and turning to the forecast, meteorologist Matt Peterson is working from home again this morning. Not a great start to our day, Matthew, and it's not going to clear up either. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, Jan. Yeah, you know, yesterday was just fantastic. We had sun in the morning. Yes, it got a little bit cloudy as the afternoon progressed, but high temperature yesterday, 68 degrees. It was the first time in over a week, almost two weeks, that we had temperatures that were above average but unfortunately it was short lived because the rain started to move in and it's a little damp to the overnight and even into this morning as well. Take a look at the neighborhood network up there in Bethlehem. Yes, the roads are wet and where I am in Montgomery County in the suburbs too, the roads are also a little bit wet here. It has that damp feeling outside and you take a look at our current conditions across the region and they really are not a whole lot different than what you're seeing there in that neighborhood network picture. Temperatures generally speaking aren't too bad high 40s, some low 50s out there. But again, with that kind of damp feeling to things in the cloud cover, not the greatest morning. I know it's going to be easy to stay inside, keep that social distancing going. Today, we're already, again, seeing a couple of showers or Allentown getting in on that. And across uh, even Berks County, Chester County as well, rain moving into those regions too. You see it on Storm Scan 3 right now. Even a couple of thunderstorms actually across southern parts of the Delmarva Peninsula. There is a small chance that parts of southern Delaware, maybe even South Jersey, could see a rumble of thunder later this afternoon. But generally speaking, this is pretty much just going to be a plain old rainmaker for us. Heaviest rain starting to move in west to east, and it will continue to do so through the morning hours. This will be our best chance to see the heavy rain here early in the day. And then the precipitation becomes a bit more, we'll call it a quote unquote showery. That's a technical term for it as we head through the afternoon, as we come a little bit more scattered with some of the rain showers as the day progresses. 10 o'clock this morning, future weather for us. There is the heavier pockets, generally speaking, from Philadelphia and north. But you'll see as we go through the afternoon, South Jersey could, yes, maybe get in on some drier weather. I think future weather is actually really overdoing that dry chance, keeping the rain I-95 and north, I think there'll be still shower chances across South Jersey and maybe parts of Southern Delaware as well. 345, still looking at those scattered showers as we head into the evening, and some of the overnight as well. Gonna be a weak boundary that tries to work through. You'll see there another pocket of heavier downpours coming through South Jersey around 10 o'clock. And then early on Monday morning, could see a few snowflakes, maybe a snow shower up in the Poconos. The rest of us though will stay warm enough that it will just be plain rain. And then Monday afternoon, more showers, more clouds staying raw. and then we go into Tuesday where we'll finally get a little bit of a break. And then of course, a quick look at the seven day forecast here, Jan temperatures only in the fifties today and tomorrow, some sixties there on Tuesday and Wednesday. Not the greatest seven day. All right, Matt. Uh -huh. Thank you. I know 620 now.